Hello, this is Ken uh, Tonight I'm uh, going to do a quick video on on the sea truck. I've uh, recently uh, unlocked uh, all the modules. I just got the, the teleporter tonight. And so I'm just going to give a, a brief uh, overview of all of them. Uh, see, it's going to be a quite a long little summary. Right, let's get to it. Obviously, the cab. Anybody who's built a sea truck is going to see know this. Um, here we got the fabricator room. You've got a, a small container for putting stuff in. And you get a regular fabricator over here. Um, this is our storage room. Uh, on the, I've got now. As you notice, I've got two C trucks now. I uh, unfortunately, when I was doing some exploring earlier, I died um, with my creeping claw down in the depths of a cave somewhere. Uh, one of the crystal caves, I think. And so, uh, to go after it, I didn't want to bring my regular truck, or my main vehicle, so I ended up building a secondary one. And uh, went down there to grab it with that one. So, anyways, with that said, uh, storage, uh, storage compartment. Um, you know, it's Got two small ones, a uh, decent sized one, and a couple of uh, good sized lockers over here. Oh, I got some, got some reactor rods over here. Um, this is the uh, sleep module. You can uh, throw pictures up there. A little, little bit, a little bit of a. Uh, Reminder of home or whatever. <laughs> uh, of course, if you want to, you can listen to music and still blast uh, music throughout the entire ship. You can sleep. Let's see you uh, rest and stuff. This is the uh, the teleporter, transporter, whatever you want to call it. To uh, to get that, you need to uh, get a lot of alien data. The last thing I needed was the, the alien greenhouse. That was uh, in the uh, ice spires region. Um, there was a couple other things I was needing, but that was the very last one I needed to to unlock it. And then uh, once you uh, get all the alien data that you can. Uh, you'll be able to uh, uh, build this module and then you also have the, uh, the tether tool. The tether tool will transport you back to this spot. I haven't used it yet so I can't say you know dogmatically how it works yet but it's like you, know, you can get uh, three uses out of it. If you I've heard somebody say that you can uh, recharge it if you have the recharging fins or charging fins whatever. So I haven't tried it out yet, so I can't I can't answer that question. And here you got the uh, aquarium. This is good for uh, if you want to carry around some food supplies, food and water supplies, without uh, taking up your uh, uh, locker space. That's just good for you know relaxing and stuff. And the last one is, of course, your uh, docking module. Uh, this is uh, good for a couple of reasons. Uh, you've, it gives you uh, a means to carry around your sea prawn suit. But it also allows you to uh, access your uh, ship from the, the, from the rear. 
there's another little handy dandy thing about it too. Let's say you're, you've, uh, you've gone exploring, whatever, da 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 da. Or you want to, uh, you know, recharge this, repair this, whatever. Welcome aboard, Captain. Welcome aboard, Captain. Well, if you don't have a docking module on there, there's really no way of accessing your your uh, submarine again. So having this little hatch in the back allows you to get access to whatever you have stored in here or whatever. You can't use your your fabricator because it's not it's not powered, but you know you can get other stuff out of here and stuff. So I don't know if you can, you can play music with that. I don't know if you can or not, but well, I'll see. Yeah, I see it's not powered, so it's not gonna be able to play in there. Now to get back out, you have to come over to the ladder because you can't just click the top like you can normally. But, uh, yeah, so that's the, uh, that is the, uh, the sea truck. And, of course, you can also move these around with, uh, these bars on top. So you can, uh, if you need to reattach them and stuff, it, it allows you to, uh, move them around and stuff. If you want to detach them, all you have to do is uh, go to the the module behind the one you want to take off and just uh, click on it, and it pulls it off. To reattach it, you just move them back in uh, close proximity, and they automatically reattach, like magnets. Now each of these parts, these will, uh, if you want to change the color of your of your uh, submarine, these mainly go off the uh, the uh, sea truck that's attached to it. So you change the color of your sea truck, the the, the, uh, the cab part, just attach it, and all the rest of the uh, modules will uh, uh, readjust the colors to the scheme that you have on that sea truck. It's a, a sea truck. If you want to or need to uh, select any of the things down below, for instance, you want to be able to uh, turn on your boosters or whatever, you just hit a three, it's a, well, one, two, or three, depending on what you have. Yeah, that's three and four there. But because because the the uh, one and the two are not selectable useful things and you can as well, you know hitting one or two won't do anything three that's your your speed that's your uh, your your defense uh, mechanism. Should be it. Again, it gets. Uh, if you get them all attached, uh, it gets pre to be pretty long. <coughs> you may not want to carry everything with you. Uh, when I went down to uh, regain my, uh, re, re get my, re get, <laughs> for lack of a better term, get to get to re to recover. That's, that's what I'm trying to get to. Uh, trying to come up with. If you want, when I went to recover my uh, my prawn, I took the uh, the docking station off 
and took off the all the other parts and went down with just a docking station that way uh, you get an entire spacious and uh, be a little spat look at that be a l oh wait hic hiccups all right so you it was uh, uh, I put just a talk docking station on there so it's uh, it was uh, more maneuverable and better speed and stuff. And you're getting uh, tire spaces and stuff. But yeah, that's the uh, that is the sea truck. And again, if you want to change the color, just uh, take the uh, cab up into the up into your moon pool, change it in your moon pool, and then just reattach it. The whole thing. Uh, Will uh, recolor itself to the to the cab, or the module in front of it, which is as a being the cab. Yeah, so that is the sea truck. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, you know, let me know, let me know in the comment section. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and like and subscribe. And if there's anything you else you want to see in Simnaka or any other games let me know and uh, I'll look into uh, seeing what I can do uh, thanks again for watching and this is Cal Knight signing out